Hi, Ellie. Hello. Hi, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Hi, Ellie, Elizabeth, Jose Rodriguez, Carlos, Elmer. Who else I have with me already? Rocio. All right. All right. How's everybody? Everybody okay? Yes. Yeah? Yes. yes. Surviving? <laughs> All right. Very good. All right. So, how was your weekend? Weekend was okay? Yes. Everything okay. All right. Very good. And work is normal for you guys? Yes. Yes, I am going to to the office. <laughs> okay, very good. Ellie, what about you? Schools is cl uh, closed, right? Ellie Larin? Como? The schools no, are closed, right? No, no, no. Right? no lo entiendo, teacher. Es mucha bulla, se oye. A ver, tienes razón. ¿Sabe qué? Vamos a silenciarlos a todos, vaya. All right, ready? Yeah, Eli, Eli, I was telling you about the schools. The schools are closed. Yes, I'm closed. All right, okay. Uh, I, I have a much uh, work yeah, for work for students. Right, I know, I understand. All right, well, very nice. What about <clears throat> Elmer? Everything okay at your office, Elmer? Yes, teacher. Everything okay. All right, very good. Okay. Elizabeth, ¿tienes, ¿tienes problemas de audio, Elizabeth? Elizabeth, Elizabeth. Silencio. All right. Okay, guys. So I'm very happy you guys are with me. And I hope that we are okay. All right, very good. Okay, so I hope, as I was saying, I hope that we are okay here. So um, we, nothing happens to us and everything. So we need to be careful with everything else. A ver, Elizabeth, no sé si es, Elizabeth, me escucha. Elizabeth del Carmen, me escucha. Okay, ahorita sí. All right, recuerden de siempre poner su micrófono así como en silencio. En el caso que en su entorno hay un poquito de bulla, ¿verdad? Solo para que todos los demás puedan escuchar y no haya ningún problema. All right, okay, guys, so we're going to continue with section two. We're going to talk about gerunds as subjects, okay? So that's the, um, the topic for today. Hi, Ana. So we're talking about gerunds as subjects, okay? All right, very good. Eh, recuerden el micrófono, Eli, please. All right. All right. Okay. Can you guys hear me? It's only Elizabeth that has the problem. Can you guys hear me? The rest of you? Yeah, you can hear me. Yes. I can hear you. Okay. Very good. Jose Rodriguez, Carlos Emilio, you can hear me. Gerardo, you can hear me. Ana, you can hear me. Yes, I, yes. Um, okay. I guess so. Only Elizabeth cannot hear me. All right, so we're talking. Well, we we talked a little bit about this the other day. Have some personalities before going to um, the gerunds of subject. Okay. So here we have artistic, conventional, enterprising, investigative, realistic, and social. Carlos, Emilio, do you understand what artistic yes, is? Hello, teacher. Hi, Carlos. Can you tell me what artistic is? Do you know what artistic means? Do you know what it is? No, teacher. All right, very good. Jose, that's okay. Jose Rodriguez, do you know what artistic is? Uh, Jose Rodriguez, you can unmute your microphone. Can you tell me what artistic is? 
Oh, yeah, see, uh, one person artist is somebody who is creative and okay. imaginative. All right, very good, okay. Um, Elmer, do you know what conventional is? Conventional is um, someone is so so is, is um, the, the normal for <laughs> this. Is. All right, okay, conventional, <laughs> like maybe traditional, maybe? Yeah, yeah, it's traditional. Right. Okay, very good. That's yeah, okay. Like me, teacher. Yeah, like whatever. Uh -huh. Rocio Cepeda, you know what enterprising is? Maybe someone who do new things, new, okay. new uh, jobs, new... Okay. Enterprise. Yeah, a new enterprise, like a new business. Yes. All right, very good. Anna, Edith, what about investigative? Investigative is um, a person who who is uh, curious. All right. Okay. Okay, very good. And then we have Jennifer, what is realistic for you? Realistic is when the person um, thinks about um, thinking for uh, when he thinks. Okay, all right. Okay, and the last one? Gerardo, you know what social means? Gerardo or Eli or anybody else, do you know what social means? Do you have any idea what social is? Uh -huh. Social is someone uh, friendly, friendly. Okay, yeah, friendly, social. Okay. Can you explain uh, the thinking with the other person? Okay, all right, very good. Okay, now what I want you to do, I want you to think what type of personality is your personality? Are you artistic? Are you conventional? Are you enterprising? Are you investigative? Are you realistic or are you social? Okay, so think about it, and then I'm going to ask each of you, all right? Um, Elizabeth Salguero, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay, oh, Elizabeth, yeah. very good. So, what is your type of personality, Elizabeth? Are you artistic, conventional, or any of the other ones that you see on the screen? I believe that uh, social. Social, all right, very good. Okay. Eli Larin, what about you? Mm, I am investigative. Oh, all right. Investigative. Yeah, investigative. Very good. Gerardo, what about you? What type of personality is yours? Gerardo, no. What about Ana? What kind of personality? Uh, is conventional. Oh, yeah, conventional. Conventional. Okay, very good. Okay. Ana, in your case, what are you? Uh, I am an artistic. Yeah, all right, very good. Jennifer Acosta, what about you? Uh, conventional, conventional, conventional. Uh, investigative. In investigative, all right, very good. Carlos Emilio, what type of personality is yours? Carlos Emilio, can you hear me? No, I guess not. Rocio, in your case, what's your personality? No, all right. Jose Rodriguez, what's your personality type? I think that my personality is conventional. Okay, very good. And Elizabeth Delca, well, no, Eli, hey, you already told me that. Uh, what about Elmer? What are you, Elmer? Conventional. Com Conventional and realistic teacher. Ah, very you, good. All you right. don't love me. 
<laughs> All right, very good. Uh, Ramos, what's your personality? Well, I think uh, our, I'm from... <laughs> Excuse me, you are what you said? I conventional. Conventional, all right. Noemi, what's your personality type? Are you artistic, conventional, enterprising, investigative, realistic, or social? Social. Excellent. Yeah, I knew it. All right, very good. All right. Nice. Okay. So let's see. Let's go on here with the rest of the presentation that I have for you here. Just give me a second. Okay. So this is the real topic. I mean, this, this is just vocabulary for you to understand what it is, but I think you know what it means, all right? So artistic, conventional, enterprising, investigative, realistic, and social, all right? So these are like the six types of personalities that are like involved in like other things or other adjectives or other characteristics, okay? So now we go on with this. Uh, that is section two, gerunds. And today we're going to talk a little bit about both gerunds as subjects and as objects, okay? So I want you to pay attention to what I have here for you, okay? Let's get ready. And it says here. Yes. Okay, it says, I am teaching. Uh, Elmer, can you read on the blue, please, on the blue square? I am teaching right now. Teaching is an interesting job. Ah, very good. Thank you. I am teaching right now. Teaching is an interesting job, okay? Now, um, I have two sentences here. I am teaching right now, and my other sentence is teaching and is an interesting job. Are they the same? Are these sentences the same? No. No? no. What's different? Mm. Because in the first sentence, uh -huh. they talk about me, uh -huh. me person. Okay. And the sentence is about my my um my personality. Okay. 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 Very good. Any anybody um, else? Uh huh. It's a two sentence with a uh, separate point. With the period. Uh huh. But are they the same, Noemi? Do they have the same meaning? Is the same structure? Yes. It is the same. Teaching, oh. uh -huh. They're using a ENG. ING. Uh -huh. and, and they finish the, and the verb. Okay. Is, is the first in the sentence. Okay. Okay. And, All right. Uh -huh. Is the use como... Subject. Uh huh. Uh huh. And 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 the sentence. And the second. Okay. It okay. is the two. Is the two sentence. Okay. So, mm -hmm. sentence number one. It says, "I'm teaching right it's now." A verb. Is that? I am teaching right now. Yeah. When I say I'm teaching right now, what tense is that? Is it future? Is it past? Is it present? What is it? Present, 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 present yes. progressive or present continuous, which is the same. Okay. What if in my second sentence is teaching is an interesting job? Is that is that present continuous, simple present, simple past, future? What is that? Present, simple present, present. Present. present, simple present. Yes. It's not present continuous. No. 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 Ah, so it's present. not the same. It's yes. present continuous. The second sentence, Helman, is present continuous too. Yes. 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 Oh. Right. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. All so right. The, the meaning is different. The meaning is different. Okay. All right. Very good. Yes. See, this is what I. Okay. That's okay, guys. Okay. Very good. Now, look at here. It says a gerund. A gerund is a kind of noun, a name. Remember that a noun is a name, or as we say in Spanish, is a sustantivo. All right? Yes. The name of an activity or an idea. In sentence number two, teaching is an interesting job, is not acting as a verb. 
is acting as a noun, is acting a noun. as a name. A yes. Okay? Whereas in sentence number one, yes, teaching, it is acting as a verb. How do I know this? It's because in my first sentence, I have I am teaching. And that is the structure for present continuous or present progressive. I, in this case, plus to be, which is am, um, then teaching, with, uh, which is ing. That is my normal present continuous or present progressive tense. But in sentence number two, the structure is not the same. Teaching is not acting as a verb, it's acting as a name of the activity that I think is interesting. Yeah? For example, I can say playing or no, swimming is um, fun, okay? Swimming is not in, the, in that context or in that moment, swimming is not an action, it's the name of the sport the name. or the activity. Yeah. All right, I can say running, swimming, uh, cycling, um, climbing. I can have the name. It's the name of the or the idea. Okay, do you understand so far? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So Noe. Yeah. Okay. You're gonna see this, Noemi. Usually. It's also. Okay. And the the finish the. I no understand. <laughs> okay. Uh, Noemi, look in sentence number one. It says, I am teaching. You have, I is the subject. Yes? In the present. Um, yes, it's present progressive, Noemi. Okay. Present progressive because I have the subject the plus the verb be plus the verb plus ing. I am teaching. Yes. You are yes. studying. He is sleeping. All right, right now. Okay. Now, in sentence number two, Noemi, it is not the same structure, okay? Looks like it, but it's not. In the gerund is a name, okay? So mm. what, what is the job that I find interesting? Teaching, or you can say um, hearing people or attending people is interesting. All right, or finding a cure for the illness is interesting. I have a name of something, of a sport, okay. of an activity, of an idea. And the structure is not the same, okay? I'm going to show okay. you this here. And it says, usually a gerund names an activity, something we do, or something, or that something does, okay? So we have, for example, walking, seating, smoking, parking, okay? So walking in this case is not the same as I say, I am walking, but saying walking is your health. It's very different. So when we translate it, we cannot translate it as caminando es bueno para su salud. We say caminar es bueno para su salud, mm -hmm. salud perdón, because it's a name. Yo le digo, I am walking, yo estoy caminando, perfecto. But if uh -huh. I have walking is good for you, then no lo puedo traducir como caminando es bueno para, su, para usted. Caminar es bueno para usted. Es como un nombre yeah. of the activity. All right? Yes? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Let's, we have, for example, here we have running, working, sleeping, cooking, Traveling, um, give me another one, Rocio, another activity or something that you um, think of, a gerund? Climbing. <coughs> Excuse me? Climbing. Climbing, yes, okay. Any Larin, another one? Mm, get around. Thinking. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. All right, yeah, All right, Gerardo, another one? Uh, uh, swimming. Swimming, very good. Another one, Elmer? Falling in love. Falling in love, all right, very good. Carlos Emilio, another one? <laughs> Carlos, me escucha, Carlos, tiene el micrófono apagado. Can you tell me another example of a gerund, Carlos? Jose, what about you? 
José Rodríguez, give me another example. Ya están fríos, ya no están calientes. Boring. Excuse me? Boring. What's that? Eh, mm, aburrirse. But that's an adjective. No, no, votar. Eh, ah, voting. Voting. Voting, yes, very good. Elizabeth Salguero, another one? All right, very good. Let's see. Um, Anna or Walter, can you give us another um, gerund? Uh, doing. Okay. Another one? Anita? Anna? Reading. Work, reading, working, yes. Okay. Pretty much all the verbs that we know them as verbs, they can become gerunds, okay? We cannot confuse them with... Um, the present progressive or the present continuous is different. In this case, they become names, okay? Usually, they begin a sentence because they are acting as a subject, okay? All right, it says here, um, a gerund looks like the ing form of verbs, okay? Por eso nos confundimos. Una cosa es el y otra cosa es el presente progresivo, el presente continuo. No es lo mismo. All okay. right? It's different. All right? So we say use of gerunds as subjects. Tenemos una cosa. We can use gerunds as subjects and we can use gerunds as objects. Okay? Y eso es lo que nos habla la, la plataforma. So it says you use gerunds like other nouns that are names of activities. If it is as a subject, eh, it answers the questions what. <laughs> Okay, so as a, a gerund, as a subject, siempre le va a contestar la pregunta qué o cuál, all right, in Spanish. Si no le contesta, esa pregunta no está funcionando como sujeto. It's functioning as, a, as an object of the sentence, yeah? Yeah. All right, so we have, what would the question be? Mire la the drinking is not permitted in the computer lab. ¿Cuál sería la pregunta? Um, what is not permitted? Uh -huh. What is not permitted in the computer lab? Drinking. Si usted se contesta, entonces la, el gerundio está funcionando en esta oración como sujeto. Subject. As a subject, okay? So I say, the, uh, you need to remember, si usted tiene duda, pregúntese, ¿me contesta la pregunta qué o cuál? Sí. Ah, bueno, entonces es un sujeto. Gerundio como sujeto. Si no me contesta esa pregunta, sino que otra es gerundio como objeto. ¿Ya? Yeah. All right. Jerun, so listen to this. Repito uh -huh, otra uh -huh. vez. Okay. Repita otra vez yeah. eso de que me contesta la no sé quién, uh -huh. la no de cuánto. <laughs> ok. We have, uh, um, no, we have the gerund. Son todos los yes. que parecieran verbos, pero no son verbos, ¿verdad? So, tienen la misma forma porque tienen ING, pero funcionan como nombres, ¿cierto? Now, these names tienen dos funciones, as a subject or as an object. Para saber si mi gerundio in my sentence is a subject, me debe contestar la pregunta what. Si no me contesta la pregunta what, el gerundio no está funcionando como subject, sino que lo más probable como object. ¿Ya? Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, tengo drinking is not permitted in the computer lab. Y, y Rocío nos decía la pregunta what is not permitted in the computer lab. Y la contesto y digo drinking. Entonces, drinking está funcionando, es un gerundio como sujeto, ¿ya? Porque me contestó la pregunta. ¿Ya? Mm, ya. Yeah. All right. Then we have gerund as objects. It answers the question, what does or what is. Obviamente la pregunta es como muy cercana, pero it's not the same. Y otra cosa clave para darse cuenta if the gerund is acting as an object is that they always come after the verb. Mire esto. María 
likes walking in the park. Maria is the subject. Likes is the verb. Walking is the gerund. Okay. Ahí tenemos dos It's formas perfect. de investigar si el gerundio walking es como objeto o como sujeto. La primera es, la pregunta dice, what does Maria like? Walking. ¿Ya? Y la otra es que walking es del verbo likes. Yes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see the other example. Many people enjoyed growing vegetables last summer. Mm -hmm. What did many people enjoy? Growing vegetables. Si se fija, el verbo puede ser en cualquier tiempo. Este es el verbo, este no, este es un nombre, por eso no cambia. No, usted uh -huh. dice, ay, ese no tiene un tiempo. ¿Por qué no se puso en pasado? Porque no es un verbo, es un nombre. Es un gerundio. All right, entonces, we answer the question. What did many people enjoy? Y la contestamos, growing vegetables. Y la otra es que growing está exactamente después del verb enjoyed. ¿Ya? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Ok, very good. Ok, take a picture please, guys. Picture time. Espérenme, <laughs> teachers. Ya le va a decir Elmer, how do you say pereme in English? Wait me. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, if you have questions, please ask me, okay? Okay, yeah. Or if you don't understand, or if you want me to repeat, I can repeat, no problem. I can tell you again. What the meaning of geocaching, teacher? Where is it? Geocaching. Um, I think it's como buscar tesoros, pero no me acuerdo bien, pero me ya se lo digo bien. <laughs> Mm. Usted toma en la foto, ya le digo. All right, no, finish. porque si no sé. No, pero ya voy, ya le digo. Ay. All right, finish taking the picture. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Ajá, ya. Yeah. Es, es, es buscar tesoros, o esconder tesoros, eh, Elmer. Thank you, my dear teacher. You're very welcome. Okay, finished? Okay, so this yeah. is what I, what I want you to do. Go to your groups. I'm going to open up the groups. And then with the picture, for example, number one, you have to decide gerund as a subject or gerund as an object. Remember that one question is what? And the other question is what does or what is? Okay, so you understand what is... Um, the gerund acting as a subject or is it acting as an object? Subrayeme, también copielan de alguna forma en su en la compu y subraye cuál es el gerundio para empezar y qué está contestando y cómo funciona, sujeto o como objeto, a qué pregunta contesta, como el ejemplo que tenía. ¿Ya? Yeah? You understand what you're supposed to do? Yes. Yes. Ya, no es solo decir a ah, gerundio como sujeto, como objeto. Necesito el razonamiento del por qué. All right, ¿cuál es? Identifique cuál es. You have to identify which one it is. All right, and then decide. It's a subject because this and this and this. It's an object because this and this and this. Not just because se parece, all right, o está bonito. ¿Ya? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. All right, guys, let's go right now. Bless you. Salud. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, guys. Hurry up with your groups. No, I know eh, your group. Ay, perdón, Emilio, your group. Ay, voy, voy. All right. Elizabeth del Carmen, your group. 
creo que Elizabeth está en dos teléfonos. Ahora, Carlos, 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 Emilio, ¿me escucha? Okay. Elizabeth, I'm sorry, guys, I'm sorry. Elizabeth, usted está en dos, en dos teléfonos o en dos, en dos cosas. Eli, Eli. Elizabeth. All right. Bueno, continúen, guys. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. No sé. ¿La ves o la veo más grande? No, está bien. Está okay. Dancing is great. ¿Ven ahí? Fun. Yes. Yes. Ok. And, and the, the question could be: What is great fun? What is great fun? So it's, yes. um, it's a subject in this case. So what is the gerund? Teacher, uh, is the use what is or what does? That's for object. See this object is the dancing day, the great fun. No, what because is what, dancing? What is no? What is great fun? Dancing. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. This. What is great fun? No es Look. como va con todo, no es. Bien, um, como dos puntos. Por este voy por este volado del gerundio del, en plataforma. Pero okay. no lo terminé de ver. Ah, ok. Solo okay. Lo, lo marqué. ¿Y del work? ¿Cómo Pero. va con su trabajo? Ah, topada de trabajo. Más que me metieron una diplomada de legislación en salud. Qué eh, buena gente. Eh. Very nice. But it's done. It's that you. Okay. 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 This is correct. What? Sorry. What? Ah. I know. No puedo No sé qué dice. Oh, what is great fun dancing? Yes, yes, correct. Thank you. Yes, dancing. Okay. Yes. Next one. Hi, Jose. You understand what to do? Ramos, you understand what to do? Everything okay? Yes. Yes, teacher. We are trying to. We are trying to answer the question. There. Okay, very good. You have the pictures, yes? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, let me know if you need help, okay? Okay. Ha sido difícil entenderlo cuando lo leo. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Elmer. Finished already, Elmer? Yes, my dear teacher. Yes, my dear teacher. I, I, I talked with uh, Jennifer acerca de about, about about the, uh, this exercise. Maybe when I start with gerund uh, is subject, always. Yeah. yeah, pretty much, Elmer, yes. Yeah, that, that is a real job, yeah, teacher. Yeah. 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 Nice. Dancing it's is easy. very fun. She hates going out at night. Cooking is my hobby. Smoking, uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes. You're catching subject, dying. So just, yeah. What about that one? Enough. Do you enjoy swimming? Is it subject or object? Swimming. 
-hmm. Swimming is object. So talk about the you. You are the object. Yeah. Do you enjoy swimming? And it's after the the verb enjoy, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Enjoy it. Enjoy the silence, like a music, like a song. Oh my goodness, el mercito. Yes, teacher. <laughs> Ay, teacher Elmer, Elmer. Ah, no, Elmer is terrible, Jenny. No, no, teacher. Never in my life. <laughs> Bullying is um, Elmer's favorite activity. Oh, Elmer. Well, in, no, teacher. No, teacher. Bullying the teacher. <laughs> Bullying the teacher, maybe, but no bullying. <laughs> <laughs> Teacher, I say to to Elmer about the, the this topic because uh -huh. uh, after antes before 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 class uh -huh. um when I read uh, whatever whatever um topic mm -hmm. um, I don't. I didn't understand ah, okay. the meaning, uh -huh. but in this moment, I understand the meaning. Excellent. Yeah, I completed it. Yes. Very good. I understand better. Very yeah. good, Jenny. Very nice. Especially because you have Elmer and he's a good teacher. Yes. <laughs> yes. I am uh, a good teacher, but, but you are the best teacher. Of course. <laughs> yes, yes, teacher. <laughs> of course. Elmer yeah, and everything. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Elmercito, and everything is okay in your job, Elmer? Yes, teacher. I am I am in the in the uh, uh, gerential groups. Okay. And ha have to take a action for the for the situation, okay, and um, I have a lot of uh, work because I I have to take uh, uh, rules in the mm -hmm. in the enterprise of the uh, buildings, okay, uh, with the people. It's a lot of people, teacher. I have really? two um, eight hundred uh, uh, persons. Wow, really, Elmer? Yeah. Yes, it's a call center, yes, teacher. Yeah, 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 oh, I know. Yes, uh -huh. it's, a, it's a lot of, yes. Uh, he, uh, the, um, the mayor is uh, Jones. Mm -hmm. yes, okay. It's, it's uh, the first job for, the, for, for days. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. and, where, work, and where is your call center, um, Elmer? In uh, Merriot City, teacher. Oh, really? Yes, it's on that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what about you, Jenny? Everything okay in your job? Jenny? What do you think, teacher? Yeah, the same? Yeah, how is your job? Everything okay in your job? In my job, yes, it's okay. okay. I, I work in... I work in engineering. Engineering, okay. I am, uh, yes, I am auxiliary. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. And it's, it's, it's good. Mm -hmm. And I enjoy the, the, the work. Okay. I feel better. And with this situation, Jennifer, everything is okay in your job too? Yes, it's okay, okay because in, in my, in my, in my in my area, mm -hmm. the, the 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 boss, mm -hmm. uh, the boss um help us to the 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 maintenance the 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 ah uh, como dice ah uh, mantener la 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 salubridad yeah. salubridad yeah to keep healthy yeah. Yes, healthy uh -huh. because they put uh, around the, the the many 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 
many uh, places uh -huh. are culture and, uh -huh. and we use uh, how do you say mascarilla um i don't know masks i guess mask mask face uh-huh yes okay yes my face okay. uh, all day oh okay okay well that's inside the, the 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 building inside the, the the building yes okay very good all right i'm happy to hear that you guys are safe very good okay so we're gonna go uh back to the uh to the main group to see how everybody else is doing okay okay teacher thank you Bye -bye. Hi everyone, were you able to finish? Almost. Okay, all right, let's check it together because I wanna, I have another exercise, so that's why I called you in before. Okay, so dancing is great fun. All right, Anna, Edith, can you do that one, number one? Tell me please which one is the gerund, and then tell me what you think, if it's a subject or an object, and tell me why. Yes. Uh, dancing is is subject because uh, dancing is the gerund, right? Dancing. Okay. Yes. yes. Uh huh. It's a subject. What, yes, it's subject. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, uh, the question is what what is great from uh -huh. is dancing. The answer. All right. Very good. Thank you. All right, uh, let's see. Rocio, she hates going out at night. Yes. Uh, the question could be, what does she hate? And the answer is going out at night. Perfect, okay. So, so it's a... So it's, uh -huh. it's, okay, <laughs> sorry. It's an object. Perfect, thank object. you. Yes, yes, very good, all right. Uh, Teacher, Ellie. tengo yes? una pregunta. Yes, Eli, what happened? En este caso, Rocío dijo que es object, going. Uh -huh. eh, es que ahí nos habíamos confundido con Ana, uh -huh. porque yo le decía eso, de que esa era regla, regla de que nos indicaba que era estaba en calidad de objeto. Ajá. Uh -huh. O es al revés. No, she is going que no, out at night. Este caso, cuando está, cuando está después de un verbo, Exacto. es object, ¿verdad? Yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, pues sí, cumple porque ahí reglas, teníamos Eli. duda con ella. Cumple la regla. Hola. Que está, cumple las dos reglas, le digo. Cumple la regla que está después del verbo, hates. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y luego que con, responde a la pregunta, what does she hate? What does. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. She hates going out at night. Uh -huh. Entonces es object. Is object. Object. Yeah. Ah, vaya, entonces, entonces yo estaba en lo cierto. I guess, yeah. <laughs> es que era, es que era una duda que, que teníamos con ella. Sí, no, pero es object. Pero ahí. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Cooking is my hobby. Teacher, teacher, excuse me, in, yes. the, in, the, in the sentence, uh -huh. in, it, in this case, she is the subject. That's right. Uh -huh. And going is object. Excellent. That's right. Okay. Ger and Gerald then, as an object. Uh, excuse me? Gerald as an object. Yes, going is Gerald as an object. Mm -hmm. She is the subject. And going is the Gerald as an object. An object. Yes. Okay. Yes, Anna? Okay. Yes, yeah? yes. Thank okay. you. Okay, very good. Thank you. Um, ¿A quién le había dicho del cooking? A nadie. Ah, okay, okay. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see, Gerardo. Cooking is my hobby. Gerardo, are you there? No, no, no. Okay, there you are. Yes. Cooking is my hobby. What is the gerund, Gerardo? Okay, cooking. Cooking, very good. Subject, as a subject or as an object? Object. As an object. Yes. No. 
No. Mm. Is subject. Gerardo? Is subject. subject. What, uh -huh. what is the question that can be answered, um, Gerardo? What is your hobby? What is my hobby? Uh -huh. My hobby is cooking. So if it's answer the question what, and it's at the beginning of my sentence, my gerund is a subject or is it an object? The subject is a subject. Yes, <laughs> cooking is my hobby. All right, so cooking is the gerund acting as a subject because it answers the question what. All right, um, Carlos Rodriguez says smoking is bad for your health. Jose Rodriguez, me escucha. Uh, yes. All right, is smoking is bad for your health? <laughs> Uh huh. Jose, uh, what is the gerund? It's a uh, smoking. Okay. It's a, a, uh -huh. It has a, as a subject. Okay. And what is the question? Uh, what is bad for your health? Excellent. The smoking. Very good. Nice. Okay. Smoking. Very nice. Jennifer, do you enjoy swimming? Uh huh. Uh, swimming is an object. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Why? Yes. Why, Jennifer? Because uh -huh. it is after the, the verb. Which verb? Which verb? Enjoy. Excellent. Okay. Enjoy. And what does what is the question, Jennifer? The question is, do you enjoy swimming? No, 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 no. What, the, is the, what is the question for you to know that that's an object? What do you uh, enjoy? Uh -huh. What do you what do enjoy? You enjoy? Mm -hmm. I enjoy swimming. All right, very nice. Okay, very good. Uh, let me see who else here. Uh, uh, Noe? Geocaching? Geocaching yeah. can be dangerous. Can be dangerous. Is um subject. Mm -hmm. And the question is, what is can be dangerous? Mm, what is dangerous? Or what can be dangerous? Yes. What, All right. what is can be? No, Sorry. No, 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 no. What is dangerous or what can be dangerous? What can, ah, uh -huh. what, what, can, what be? can be? Or what is dangerous? Si le va a poner el what can, can be? deja el, el be. Okay. Si le va a quitar el can, entonces... Eh, tiene que conjugar el verbo be, que sería what is dangerous. Le quitaría el is. Yeah, uh -huh. very good. Okay, what very can nice. be dangerous? Excellent. Yes. Geocaching, Geocaching. excellent, very nice. Walter mm -hmm. Guerrero, doing homework is boring. Mm -hmm. Waltercito, your microphone. Walter, Walter, tu micrófono, Walter. Hello. Hi. Doing homework is boring? It's like a subject. Uh huh. Why? Zero. And what is I'm the. Sorry, like, like an object. Is, is up an object. And which one is the gerund, Walter? Boring. No. No, sorry, doing. Doing, all right. So doing is acting as a subject or is acting as an object? Doing is, is acting like an a object. Subject. What is the question, subject. Walter? ¿Qué, ¿Qué pregunta contesta? What is uh, boring? What is boring? Uh -huh. What is boring, Walter? Doing homework. Doing homework, okay. Entonces, si le, si le contesta esa pregunta, it is, a, it is a subject, Walter. Okay. All right. You understand why? Because... Uh, uh, is um, after the, the verb. 
And because it is a name in that case, Walter, doing homework. And it's at the beginning of your sentence and it's not following any other verb. And it answers the question, what is boring? Doing homework, like listening to music, running, watching TV, cooking, um, speaking with you is boring, all right? So whatever is the activity is, the name of the activity is going to be a subject. Gerund as a subject. Okay. Okay. Now, in that in sentence, case, uh huh, Walter? In the case, doing homework. Doing homework, that's right. Now, boring is another gerund, guys. And this is not for Walter, this is for everybody else. Boring is another gerund. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, in that sentence, yes. we have two gerunds. Yes. Boring. Yes. Uh huh. Boring. Yes. Gerund in, in the object. Mean, a uh, boring is an object. It's an object. Yes. <laughs> no, boring is an no. adjective. Boring is oh, yes. an It's an adjective. Yes, that's right. Uh huh. All right. Hay adjetivos que terminan con ing y hay adjetivos que terminan con ed, pero son adjetivos. Ad. Pareciera, eso es para confundirlos nada más. Cabal. <laughs> it, 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 no <laughs> it looks the same, but it's not the same. That one is an adjective. Boring is an adjective. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay because it's, it's something that uh, doesn't like. Yeah, and it's modifying how homework is. is. It's boring. Like, for example, you say, she's beautiful. How is she? Beautiful. All right, so how is doing homework boring? It's an adjective. Mm -hmm. Yeah? All right, very mm. good. Why don't you like writing essays? Uh-huh, Ellie? Why don't you like writing essays? Writing is a uh, gerund. Uh -huh. is, acting, is acting as object. Why? Because, uh -huh. because he is after the verb. That's right. And it answers the question, Ellie? What, mm -hmm. like? what do you like? What does do you what does why don't? What don't why don't you like? Okay, writing essays. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Or what don't you like? All right. So you said writing essays. All right, very good. Okay. So I think you guys have understood, right? Right. <laughs> yeah, I think you have understood what we're talking about today. Let me just see something here. I just want to double check something. Yeah. All right. Okay. So here, guys, I just want to show you this. Whoops. Let me... Let, oh. What did I do? Okay, here, sorry. Okay, so here we have. Here we have. See? Can you guys see this? Yes. All right. So, um, well, here. So, here is just for you to check it, all right? So, these are the answers. Dancing is great fun. Jaring is subject. Jaring is subject for number two. Jaring is subject for number three. Gerund is subject for number four. Do you enjoy swimming? That's a gerund is an, as an object. Five or the, the six, sorry. Gerund is a subject. Doing homework is also a subject. And why don't you like writing essays? Is a gerund as object, okay? Before we go, mm -hmm. I want you to think about this, all right? Number one, what is good exercise? Number two, what, what activity is a lot of fun at parties? Number three, what activity is necessary for your life? Number four, what do you, what do you enjoy doing on Sundays? Number five, what activity might you try to do? This is what I want you to do. Can you please take a picture of this right now?
Did you take a picture? Everybody taking a picture? Carlos, take a picture, please. Yeah. Okay. I want you to take a picture and I want you, I'm gonna, for, um, uh, it's going to be a small homework, okay? I want you to answer these questions. What is good exercise? For example, you say swimming is a good exercise. Running is a good exercise. Sleeping is a good exercise. Um, jogging is a good exercise, okay? But this is personal, all right? What activity is a lot of fun at parties? Maybe dancing, some people are gonna say drinking, some people are gonna say smoking, some people are gonna say talking, all right? Do you understand what you have to do? Eating. Eating, yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is what I want you to do. Take a picture right now. Y me lo contesta entre ahora y mañana antes de la clase y lo manda al grupo. Contestado, porfa, y te lo reviso. All right? Okay, get it? I'm All right, teacher. guys, yeah, because I mean, we don't have time anymore to check it. So please take a picture. Así es que espero 13 respuestas. Cada quien tome la foto de su respuesta. Lo escribe en su cuaderno o algo, le toma foto y lo manda al grupo y me lo manda. Y me lo, re lo reviso, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. Okie dokie, guys. Aparte de la plataforma, obis. All right, ok. So, so it was very nice to see you again. Me alegro que todos estemos bien. All right, mantengámonos así. Dámense las manitas siempre, aún para empezar a la clase. Aquí no se vaya a pasar por algún lado. Sí. <laughs> All right, very good, guys. So, thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye, teacher. Bye, good night. 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 Bye, good night.